Hello everybody and welcome to this game that I have no idea how well it's going to turn out video-wise. On the account that it's a racing game. This would be first racing game on the channel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because most of the things I've played on this channel are roguelikes, I really love the game. Play now, not changing it. It's just like I got what party games, platformers, and I guess roguelikes. I can't think of anything else. Well, I guess technically DDR is in there because Happy Feet, right? Yeah. But it's fine with people to count. I don't know what kind of game that genre that counts as. Either way, though, those probably work better than racing game. I don't know what to say for this one. And, like, even more so than the others. I do know that, uh, somewhat disappointingly, I'm not playing Crash. Because, yeah. But it's nice to see what everyone's doing here. Yeah, I can just look at this. You do something. Oh, wait, no, that's only when you get this. Right. Freak out, that's only when you select the character. Do they hit their hand? What do you do? Just a backflip. Reasonable. I just breaks his weight. Completely unnecessarily. He just turns around. Okay, and you do a front flip. Uh, I like how some people do stuff, and then some people are just polar. But then last week we got Dingo that who's the person I'm actually going to be playing as, just because after doing so many time trials to try to unlock uh, Entropy, or however you say his name, or whatever the heck his name is, I forgot what letters I was looking for. But, like, after having to spend so many hours trying to do that, it just feels weird not to. That was my test file to see if I can play this game if it'll lag or whatnot. Seems fine. I could have sworn the last time I played this game, like, everything, all muscle memory just evaporated from my brain. Half right. Welcome to the Adventure Arena. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent warp paths, which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a racetrack, drive onto a warp path that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track's start line. Finish a track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will turn on and open to you. Good luck! And drive fast. Okie Ooga, thank you for speaking without always opening your mouth. I noticed that when he said drive fast. <laughs> but, like, I can still do somewhat well. Because I did two levels this one and the next one that I'm going to, you know, Crash Cove and Route 2. Uh,. And I, I did manage to get pretty far ahead in the AI due to the fact that I, you know, have some practice in using the drift mechanic a little bit. However, I kept messing that up. I did this level twice. Once is Crash and once is Dingo Dial. And every single time I have now failed to get that jump the first try. I don't like this. Stop. I can't believe this. It, it, you guys didn't hit me in practice. It's not allowed. You gotta follow the script. Of which I do not have one. If only I did. Big talking a lot easier, probably. At least, uh, yeah, no, I'm not hitting that again. Pass on the wall, thanks. 
Oh yeah, no, it's like I have a little bit of practice in this, because like I said, I had to beat the, uh, the one guy's ghost. The Lotho. Not the Oxide Ghost. I... There's no way in heck I'm ever doing those ones. Like, it'd be nice to claim that I did, you know? It'd be a good accomplishment, because it is very difficult to beat them, depending. I mean, how I've missed the jump every single time. I can't believe this. Because, like, they're, they're difficult on the stages you can't just completely uh, cheese, like, on side station, where you can skip half the level or half the track in just one jump. Because, you know, not even like a difficult jump, it's just you jump over the rail and it's a specific part of the track and now all of a sudden you just skip the big portion of it. Easiest ghost you can beat right there. I think there's one other stage, that, or one other track that you can do. And, uh, I'm trying to think of it. I cannot. Like the Mop Pop Temple. I'm trying to think of But that's not as big of a skip as Oxide Station. The more Wumpa fruit you collect, the faster your cart will go. If you collect and hold 10 Wumpa fruit, you'll be juiced up and your power ups will become more potent. <laughs> Thank you. I will not be doing that unless it just convenient for me. I might have to do that in the Cortex Temple because I hate that stage or track. I don't know why I can't just say track. That's the one track I didn't do in Stingo Dial for the ghosts. I had to do that one as Polar. All the turns on that one were too horrible for me. My ability to play video games. This while I'm not the worst, I'm also not the best at video games. I say I'm a good mediocre, you know. But man, talking really does make playing games more difficult nowadays, huh? Become old. This is not a problem I had as a kid. Then again, I'm also well, no, I guess I would have thought more about them, because I would be responding to people. In this case, I'm just saying more shows up in my brain. How dare you, Engine. I hate you. Just for that, I'm using what I thought was my last missile. Thankfully, I still have one left. I don't know why I say thankfully, it's not like it's going to do much for me. Unless I get hit by yet another thing, but... I doubt that they're gonna pass me again. Should well, one, I should be timing these boosts better. Cause I think it's supposed to I don't remember. I never fully learned the mechanic, but I think it's supposed to be if the mirror is just about to hit full, it's the better time to hit it. Pretty sure, maybe. I don't know. I kind of walked my way through half of it. This this was probably one of, besides Cortex Castle, probably the one that took me the longest to get through for being the ghost. And boy, can I tell you, my thumb and probably the controller did not appreciate it. There was such an indent in my thumb. There's already an indent in my thumb, but it was a lot worse. My thumb got sore from how long I was trying to do that track. Because when I said hours, I meant hours. That was a different day. I think I went three different days. Like, on completely different years. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. And I... Hang on, I think it was good to speak beat. again. TNT crate on your head, start hopping immediately. If you react fast and hop enough times, the TNT crate will fall off your head before it explodes. <laughs> These are the moments where I wish I had a face cam because I just flamed close and just nodded. So, uh huh? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. But in the most uninteresting way. 
but uh I could have sworn that the second time I did it though or like the second day I tried that I actually got the ghost but I had to do it again which was very unfortunate either way if I ever did do it once because I remember that the second time I also just sat there for hours and I was really upset and I could not get it and then eventually I finally did and then that's the only reason why I remember doing it, but at the same time, according to the file, I didn't do it. So, so that was not fun to have to, according to my memory, do it a second time. I am surprised that I didn't get hit by that, but that perception, I guess. I ain't got it, and I never claimed to have it. Unless it's a joke. Come on, aye, 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 aye. gave me the big book bounce. Thought it was already too late. I missed the chance. Phew. I'm gonna go from here. This was a bad idea. I did not have the speed to go through there. If it counts, even if it is a big one, it's still good enough. But this is what I mean though by like, I don't know how well this will work for me. It's like, if I was not a person who had to go through all the time trial stuff and still didn't know how to do drifts and whatnot, I feel like this would be better. And I could willingly choose to do that. But at the same time, that would also lead the potential of I do some of these races again. And that's just kind of like a whole two minutes, maybe less, maybe more, depending on the track. Like, just completely wasted. And either way, I feel like for, again, Cortex Castle, state, or tracks like that, it'll probably be a bit closer. And probably even the, the unlockable ones, because I don't know those ones at all. I, like, I don't remember them all. I don't even remember you had to do them for the unlocking of the, the guy. Guy, as I always like to refer to him, because it's easier than remembering his actual name. But hey, on the bright side, even if this doesn't work out, it shouldn't take too long. Cause we're already almost, or I'm almost done with four tracks, and this is with Uka Uka's uh, interventions. And me not even skipping like the two extra second intro and this and Uka Uka. I guess. You could skip all of them like any triangle. But I like seeing being a guy just do that. Congratulations! You win a trophy. I like a lot of the dance animations. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping! The longer you're in the air, the bigger the turbo you'll get when you land. For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the R1 button. I don't know if I've ever noticed time with the direction. I don't know if I've ever noticed how much the gem and the rotating floating key at the top of the screen. I guess above the portals. Uh stick out from the key. I'm hoping this this is the one track I'm hoping goes the best. Cause like this one is just a fun one if you actually do it well. I can almost guarantee I'm going to crash and get squished. I think yeah that's that's a great sign. <laughs> Miss the boost at the start. See if I can get this. Nope. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that jump works. That's one thing I like. I hate that jump specifically. Of all the shortcuts in this game, that's probably one of my least favorites. 
And there's one that requires you to just have an item that you can throw in front of you and hit it. Which makes it so TNTs technically don't work. They technically do. I mean... Like, you, you can put down like a Nitro, for example. And it'll still work if you run yourself into the Nitro. The AI won't. But... The, the amount of time you would save with the shortcut versus how much time you had to put down Nitro in the right spot and ram your face into it. Like, it, it just don't work. Oh, there's the squish that I mentioned. Now I just have to hit a wall. For that TNT that's just conveniently on the crate. Did I do that? I did that, didn't I? That sounds like a me thing to do. So yeah, this is kind of like just a... Oh, hey, that's weird looking. This little adventure, at least for the trophies, it's going to be like a weird speed run. Oh, hey, I actually made that jump. I just did not believe in myself. I should have. I should have believed in it. I could have had it. I picked up many levels. I thought I hit one of those. In the end, I guess if I hit only one, I might have lost it on that. Which, I'm again amazed I didn't get hit. Oh, hey, I avoided hitting a wall. The prophecy has failed. Second prophecy that I predicted I made. Really, I was still faster on the second lap despite getting squished. Like, I get that I crossed the finish line with more speed, but I would have expected the squish would counteract the entirety of that. I guess I also didn't bonk the ledge. Look at Polar, still just existing. I also find it funny that whenever people are on the third place podium, they face the opposite direction. I don't even want it. To. They don't even want their face to be shown. Also, I'm not reading what Baru says. You see how fast that text went by? Crazy. As crazy as he is. Like, um, there's no way that with my elementary school reading speed, I would get there in time. However, I will uh, destroy. Or actually, never mind. The process I've ever ran into, what am I to say? Even if I do really well in this, I'm pretty sure you would rubber band after me, wouldn't you? It's rubber banding it. Insane in video games. But, at the same time, pretty okay. I do know there's supposed to be like one racing game where there's like rubber banding and it's like you can just make vehicles fly into oblivion because they can just skip too much. But one of the tracks or something. I don't remember what game that was. Or where I heard that or saw that from. So I'm just going to do my recruit pressure for a second. Never mind, point in one second. Two seconds. My TNT's now, stupid. I'm gonna needlessly swear, but then I was like, wait, no, family friendly. What's wrong with me? I need to cut down swearing anyways, I swear too much. That's probably one benefit of doing YouTube is the fact that this gives me moments where I I will cut down on the swearing because I I want to keep my content family friendly, thank you very much. I play a lot of older games that I played as a kid. Thus, some of them are just actual kid games. Or at least, probably more aimed towards kids than adults. And adults can't play them. But I don't think Little Mermaid for PlayStation 1... Did I play that on this channel? I can't remember if I played that on this channel yet. If I haven't, that's a new- that's a movie game that I completely forgot that I own. Oh yeah, something tells me that that's not quite as aimed towards adults <laughs> as it would be for kids. Also, 
so you can only see half. Oh wait, no, there was a moment where you could see all the keys because Dingo Dial leaned. <laughs> Giving me the key because you kind of looked like you got mugged. And Dingle Dial does have a gun. Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. I thought he said more and more, but now I realize that he said four more. By the way, that'll do it for this episode of. Uh, Crash Team Racing, or CTR, whatever you want to call it. Next time, I guess, I you don't go in there yet. Next time, I guess we go through getting these things and the relics. See you all then. Bye bye